Hello, welcome to Inclusive Design for Learning. This is our class. It's grad 9001-02. This is just a quick overview of the course. So it's called Inclusive Design for Learning and it's on Wednesdays from 9950 a.m. in the Geology Building Room 107. So I'm your instructor. I'm Gina Jalan. That's pronounced J like the bird, lawn like your yard in Turkish. The C is like a jaw sound. Anyway, my office is in Uprise Bakery on 10 Hitch Street. Uh, big brick building, nice windows. Office hours by appointment um, and pretty flexible. So just send me an email and we can figure something out. Also, I'm almost totally blind. I can still see a little bit, but don't let me fool you. I, I can't see much at all. And we can talk more about that in class. So what is this class about? We'll be talking about inclusive design for learning and this is for science, technology, engineering, and math students who are interested in more effectively reaching their diverse learners. So we're really going to focus on practical skills and tools for doing that. We're going to cover topics ranging from ability theory to the ideal framework, techniques and technology that we'll need, and ultimately ideal implementation. What are our goals? So the big overarching goal for the class is to provide you with the knowledge and skills for more effectively teaching diverse students. And as landmarks towards that, we're going to start by developing an awareness and appreciation for diverse abilities. Then we're going to work on understanding the principles and guidelines of the ideal framework, becoming really familiar with teaching strategies and resources, for making this happen and finally applying the IDL framework to some aspect of our fields. Three things that drive complex adaptive systems and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking what is a complex adaptive system and what does it have to do with us? Well our class is a great example of a complex adaptive system and so three things that are really important are diversity, richness of connectivity and information flow through the system through time. So these are things that we really want to promote this semester. Readings and resources. So there's no actual textbook for this course. It's so new and exciting. There's actually not an appropriate book. Um, but I have collected a really nice variety of short readings, video clips, um, websites, things for us to explore and really sort of complement what we're covering in class. And there will be home lectures like this one. Uh, I try to keep these pretty short. And there are also extras. So these are sort of extra resources and things for you to explore. And if you find things that are relevant and interesting, uh, we can share them with the rest of the class. Inclusion, ADA. So I believe strongly in reaching all my students. And if you foresee any barriers at all uh, with my class, let's work on minimizing those together. Also, if you have a documented disability, of course, talk to disability services. Those guys are great. And also check out Adaptive Computing Tech, ACT. Um, we'll be working with both of these departments a lot this semester. Assignments and grading. So this is a pass-fail course. Yay, low stress. You do have two major assignments. The first is an observation and barrier recognition assignment. This, you'll be going into like a class or a lab and identifying barriers in the context of that classroom. Um, we'll do drafts and revisions of that. And then towards the end of the semester, we'll really be focusing on these IDL mini implementation projects where you're taking these inclusive ideas and applying them um, to some aspect of your field that you're really interested in. And we'll have multiple revisions of that as well. Little assignments. So there are lots of little assignments. I know there are a lot of them, but they're little. And really, most of them are pretty fun. So we've got uh, a lot of reflections. Thou shalt reflect quite a bit, actually. Some short readings. I've got some multimedia readings, which are kind of like interactive online things. 
videos and resource exploration. In addition, uh, we'll be doing online discussion to complement in-class conversations and some blog sharing. So topics that we'll cover, we're going to start with um, kind of ability theory and thinking about um, diverse abilities. We're going to do some simulations and reflections, have a panel of students with diverse abilities, and then focus on barriers um, because those are things that we're going to want to minimize later on in the semester. Um, we'll cover universal design and universal design for learning, inclusive design basics, in the second half of the semester, we're going to focus on universally designed and adaptive tech, and some adaptive tools and materials, and effective teaching strategies, things that will need a toolbox for applying this framework, um, which is what we're going to focus on towards the end of the semester. There will be a student-led session led by you guys. Um, and at the end, we'll do a big kind of show-off session for faculty and other students that are interested in learning about inclusive design. That's it for now. I'll see you guys in class. Make sure to check out the Blackboard tour because I know that Blackboard can be very confusing. Um, and so that might help just navigating some of these things. I'll talk to you guys Wednesday.